everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tower. I'd like to acknowledge the Waramai First Nations people, the traditional owners of the land on which these videos are made, and welcome to you, your guides, my guides, and the universal energies. As promised, here is the same questions, but with uh, in regards to President Biden. So entertainment only, I'm using my gilded tarot royale, Got you down a little bit so you can do some a little bit of fur baby spamming there. Um, and as I split the deck to start my shuffling, this was on the bottom, split the deck. We've got, um, I'm going to say seen and heard, but it can also be the victory card. I very rarely, rarely call it the victory card, only because the figure that's on the horse looks incredibly uncomfortable. And a lot of decks have those that are looking on, uh, either looking away or looking down or looking despondent. Um, but I don't think it's going to be, I don't think it's um, uh, because of the deck of Cozen. It's not that people are disappointed it's uh, I just I don't know that Biden will uh first of all he'll be a lot better than the other person on the stage but I don't think I mean 90 minutes is a long time uh especially when you look at the amount of travel he's been doing he just looks exhausted he doesn't look he looks mentally he is mentally very still astute but he just looks exhausted um, so I just feel it'll be a victory for Biden, but it won't. It, it'll be an uncomfortable victory, is what I'm getting. Now I read when I read on the debate the uh, other week, uh, I did get that there will be some difficult questions, especially in regards to age and uh, who are who's the vice president. You know, will you step down? partway through your term, etc. Uh, I just do feel that that sort of question will still come out. But show me the energies of Joe Biden going into tonight's debate. Show me the energies of Joe Biden going into tonight's debate. Show me the energies of Joe Biden. The energies of Joe Biden. A little bit tricky coming down after yesterday's reading, just coming back down to this lower level, but let's have a look. Energies of Joe Biden. Okay, come on down, let's have a look. When I say lower level, you know, the, the 3D human level rather than exploring. Okay, the hermit. Uh, he's on a difficult path. Um, I'm just going to say he's, he's he is uh, traversing the path well, considering all the pitfalls and the difficulties and the the obstacles put up. But and he's got his he's got the lantern lit, he is shining the way, but we've got the snake in the path here. This is an obstacle that might trip him up. How's the energies behind with Joe Biden in regards to the debate? So there may be something in the debate here that is he's really got to consider how to answer and consider it very carefully. Remembering that he's going first and answering the questions, so he has to be more on the ball. He doesn't have that space of time uh, to actually think of what he wants to say while the other person is answering. He has to come up with his replies basically straight away. So it's not going to be easy for him, uh, but he does have a lot of support. Uh, emotional support. I suspect his wife, uh, very possibly Hunter, but perhaps not. Um, but his wife, I feel his wife and his daughter, because uh, he has a daughter with Dr. Jill, will be in the audience. Hunter may be in the audience as well. Um, but I'm feeling it's more, thank you. I'm getting it may, Hunter may not be, but Hunter's wife may be in the audience. Three females. They're supporting him. Okay, okay, let's see where this goes. Might even be Kamala, uh, Kamala in Kamala in the in the audience as well. But he does have the, he does have emotional support, and they will be there for him. Uh, I know there's not an audience, but they may be sort of seated off stage or you know something along those lines. Uh, that's going to sting for the other dude whose wife and children are not going to be anywhere to be seen. Okay. 
Uh, the energies behind the scenes, I had this card for uh, Trump as well. Six of Swords, he's going to stick to the facts, stick to the truth uh, as he moves forward. Um, out of troubled waters, movement forward. It's not going to be easy, but he's going to stick to, um, I'm just going to say, stick to the truth and stick to the facts. You're not going to see any ranting from Joe Biden. But two of pentacles, this is going to be difficult on his health. I've got exactly the same card for Trump, but in, a, in, in this position instead of this position. This position for Trump was the Four of Swords, and then it was the juggling of the health. So, yeah, he may, I'm not going to say he's not going to have drugs, but he might have a cup of coffee or something um, to try and get him through, to try and pep him up to get him through. Um I just, I'm hoping it doesn't wear out, wear off halfway through, and also understanding that uh, that coffee or caffeine is um, uh, not uh, well. It can do things to the prompt, prompt the digestive system to do something. I'll just put it that way. I'll let you research that if you want to. Um, just look up side effects of caffeine. Yeah. So again, juggling of his health here. Okay, what we've got here, the high priestess uh, exposing the hidden agendas. Uh, he may he may bring up the hidden agenda of, for example, Project Twenty Twenty Five and things like that. Um, bringing bringing them into the fore, shining the light on on the truth truths that are perhaps hidden. Um, We've got here the Knight of Cups, a offer being made, an emotional offer. This may be, um, it's not the false knight. This may be the economy as well. I'm getting a double feel with that. He may be presenting on an emotional level what's happening with the economy as well. And that it there are rainbows to be had there remembering that considering that they have a the house the congress house basically refuses to pass anything um that will benefit the people the administration's actually done pretty well in regards to what what they've been able to offer yeah, i do feel his health is going to be brought into question i think it, it's a double whammy, this. I'm really getting a draw to both his health and emotionally presenting himself spirited. Thank you. Right. Love it when my voice comes through. If you hear them, let me know. He's going to present himself emotionally spirited, but it also may be uh, that he is going to bring up um, what his administration have been able to do in regards to the economy. Right, crowning this reading, the emperor taking control and the star, the best of democracy, the star of hope and healing. So I think he's going to be a force to be reckoned with. He's going to be, I just just got told, he's going to be absolutely exhausted when it is over. Um, I don't think he'll stumble going out to the car or anything like that, but he is going to, he is going to, I just get he's going to need some sort of assistance, whether it's just a steadying arm of one of his secret service people, because um, they do stand for the entire time, I believe, as well. And goodness me, I know standing somewhere for 90 minutes trying to be on the ball. Boy, oh boy, at my age, that's hard enough. Um, but I think he's going to be a commanding presence and he's going to be bringing uh, a feeling of hope and healing of the country and the best of the democracy. King of Wands, powerful messages are going to be brought forward and here we have that victory card, but it will be an uncomfortable victory for him. We've got the magician, uh, the manifestation, and we have the Page of Pentacles bringing forth information, financial, perhaps health as well. 
I've also got the death card here. It doesn't mean physical death. It's just significant endings and new beginnings, authentic reform, as there is this sort of truth coming forth through. Okay. The sort of truth. I'm sus again. I'm suspecting there's going. There's something's going to go happen in regards to this debate, and it may be that the moderators are going to be fact checking and pulling up uh, when some go off on tangent. But I'm also drawn to the fact that you've got the dove of peace here. So. The the death card is about significant and significant endings and new beginnings after reform. So this may be the message that he's bringing forward is about real change, and we've got the dove of peace and the sword of truth is drawn here. So Biden might be bringing out some a policy platform, perhaps. That will bring about a healing and a and a and a change in the way things happen. Okay, on the base we've got two of wands um, with the two different messagings. Uh, there will be a decision to be made by the populace. We've got here lies, deceit, abuse of power, not liking what's on offer, something unexpected, and judgment card. New beginnings in regards to lies being brought to the surface, mercenary actions, despair in government. I again, I think he's going to bring something forward that is going a policy that he's going to offer that's going to be in unexpectedly in regards to abuse of power within government. There may be some secrets that that are revealed about mercenary actions that will cause some anxiety of those that are in governance because it will be a judgment moment. Okay, so what I'm getting there, that's the energies behind the scenes at the moment. Um, now, I know I do read the meanings of cards differently depending on the deck. Uh, with Trump, Moon was definitely uh, about the lunacy. Um, but with Biden, it was more about secrets being revealed. I feel that Biden's going, there's a, there's a, pol a policy or a couple of policy platforms that will be unexpected that will be quite um, reformation in regards to um, political abuse. I'm just going to put it out there. It might be to do with the gerrymandering that goes on in some states and that um, might be a change in the way, uh, a proposal about changing the way uh, elections are overseen. Uh, in Australia, we have an independent Australian Electoral Commission. It's a federal uh, electoral commission. Uh, basically, when you turn 18, you get a letter from them saying register. Uh, voting is compulsory over here. I can't ever see that coming in in the US, but it's not. Elections are determined by the politicians. I'm just going to put that out there. In Australia, elections aren't determined by the politicians, and I do feel that uh, there may be some really uh, authentic reform uh, that Biden will suggest on a federal level. Not necessarily. Yet. I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay. How will Biden feel he went? Okay, come on, Dan. How will Biden feel he went during the debate? Uh, four of Pentacles, um, uh, yeah, okay, but not overly confident. I think he's going to present what he wanted to present, but he's holding reserve there. Uh, challenged by the Ace of Cups, the all-seeing eye, uh, an emotional new beginning, an emotional new start. 
partnership new start is going to um, be, is the second signifier there. It can be a chart. This could be a challenge here. The cha okay. Thank you. I thought when they come to me, if you hear my boys pop it in the comments. Um, em emotional outbursts. He's going to find the emotional outbursts um, challenging for him. I'm just going to put it there. And we know who's going to be the emotional outburst. He's just going to... Remember in the last debate him and Trump did where Trump turned up full of absolute COVID and, and Biden just said, oh, will you just shut up, man, because Trump was going through his whatever rant it was. Um, yeah, he's going to find that sort of thing challenging. It's like it's almost like a, 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 it's, it's going to feel incredibly... Um, I, the word I'm getting is disrespectful. It's like he's going to get really annoyed at the disrespect and the outburst is what I'm feeling there. Okay, foundation, the wheel of fortune. So how does he think he's going to go? Uh, he feels that it, this was his destiny. He feels he's, he's doing his destiny at the moment. In the past, the uh, Ten of Wands, uh, a very heavy messaging load that he's had to carry, slog up the hill. However, it's in the past. So I'd say he's been swatting up on the messages that he wants to get out there and he's gone through the hard yards in regards to this. Crowning this reading, Ten of Pentacles, um, a legacy cycle. How does he feel he's going to, to do? Um, this is intergenerational handing over of the legacy i think he's going to feel like he's fulfilled what he needed to do okay immediate future um is the what have we got the seven of pentacles uh he's got everything on the tree hasn't harvested it yet uh externally for him the six of pentacles giving and receiving help uh, this is very possibly information about the economy where he's helped the, the most in need that he's going to bring forward. Internally, here he is himself. He is a very experienced statesman. He's emotionally calm, stable, diplomatic. So I'm just going to say he's ready. He's ready. This could also be having received help from the outside. He's ready. The hopes and fears uh, that he's going to have to surrender some of the messaging that he wants to get out there, or there is, or is there is a question that he's going to have to basically surrender himself to the outcome, the high priestess, the Revealing the hidden agenda, poor choices of the smoke and mirrors. And I just feel he's going to be an inspirational speaker and he's going to appeal to, especially to women. So the Queen of Wands is very much about, she. she's very confident in her own skin. She knows who she is. She, she is um, spiritually connected and she's bringing forth a powerful message that is inspirational. And again, on the bottom, we've got the Six of Swords. We've got a tower moment in regards to financial, ethical and moral corruption. We've got the voter here. Something's going to be brought forward on a legal basis. There's an off. There's a offer. There's a. I'm going to say an offer of a policy on a legal basis for governance. Um, in regards to to corruption in government, there's something in a platform here. It's got those that operate in a mercenary manner, anxious. Because it will restrict them and bring them bring about their downfall, as there is this return to moderation. It's almost like he's going to give them, and he's very possibly planning on giving 
a heads up warning to those in governance that um, have not necessarily been behaving themselves. I'll put it that way. That's just the feels I'm getting is there's something he's planning on bringing something forth that will resonate with the voters in regards to bringing normalcy back to politics. Now, when I say normalcy, today the two parties in, in Australia as well as in other countries like the US would work together for what is good for the, the people. At the moment, it just seems to be a muckslinging um, performance on behalf, I know in Australia, on, be on behalf of, of our Conservative Party. Now, our Conservative Party, they call themselves the Liberal National Party, but in other countries, I know Liberals are the, the Progressive Society. So I'm just going to call them the Conservative Party and the Progressive Party. There's, It just seems to be endless... Uh, muck slinging from the uh, Conservative Party. So I think there's, there's something there where Biden's going to bring forth to try and get that that abusive out of, out of government. Now, whether that's uh, a federal, um, a platform of a federal policy that will get rid of, try and get rid of corruption or hold hold more accountability. Um, yeah, I just feel that there's going to be something there. Okay, let's have a look. How will the voters perceive Biden wind? How will the voters perceive Biden wind? How will the voters perceive how Biden wind? How will the voters perceive Biden? Okay, let's see what that card is that flung out. Oh, how will they perceive Foggy? Uh, he, they may perceive him as this, the only choice amongst the smoke and mirrors that happened. Um, yeah, I do think that's what it is. Okay, thank you, guys. That he will be a bright light in this swilling of greed and power and vanity, etc. Okay, let's see where this goes. Uh, challenged by abuse, sabotage, betrayal, lies, deceit, win at any cost. So that's going to be his challenge is the win at any cost perception. Um, foundation of the reading, the energies he's in at the moment. I think he's ready. He's got his tree in full harvest. He hasn't... Um, hasn't drawn on it yet. Okay, thank you. I'm getting this tree is full of the opportunities that he's going to present for the voter, but he's, they're not in governance yet, so they can, they're not uh, got to wait till after the election before he can draw on it. Plan coming to fruition, ship coming into harbour. How's that? Yeah, the bright and shining light. How is the voter going to perceive him? Uh, the immediate future in regards to this is the Queen of Cups. Not everything is revealed on the emotional level. Uh, keeping, I uh, think you keeping. He's going to uh, keep his emotions under in check. I mean, he can be emotional, but he he knows how to keep his emotions under check in check. But you can see it glowing out of the top of the cup here. So, yeah, the emotions are going to be kept in check. He's going to offer security, stability, protection, healing internally. Um, 
the breaking down of how things were um, to create something better. There's almost like he's got a promise going on here to rebuild the, the Ace of Swords, the Dove of Peace, the Sword of Truth, um, the Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. Can be be careful what you wish for, but it's almost that he's offering up. Uh, even though he's keeping his emotions in check, he's offering up what is palatable emotionally. He is the inspirational queen and the six of cups, going back to simpler times and strength. So how is the voter voters going to see him? I think they're going to see him in a positive light. The eight of pentacles, the hard work going on behind the scenes in the face of this bipartisanship, it's causing a lot of anxiety. He's going to bring forth something new. He's going to perceive, be perceived as, first of all, appealing to the female voter, but also bringing forth abundance for all, something new that will bring abundance for all. And then we've got the circles of support. We've got King of Swords bringing forth truth, honesty, He's going to be seen as honest, positive headlines. Uh, we've got the articulate orator here and then we've got the voter. Yeah, I just, um, we've got governance, something on offer, bringing forth the truth about dark money, those that feathered their nests, those that money laundered. Seven of Wands going to have to defend themselves and face this downfall. In, and then we've got a rebalancing and temperance. I just really feel he's going to bring something forth that is going to resonate with voters uh, about corruption in government, some sort of policy. He's going to keep his emotions in check, which will be a big contrast to the other dude. Yeah, I. I'm, I'm positive. I'm positive about uh, about Biden uh, at this debate. Um, he is going to see appear a, a little. Well, I'm not even going to say a little flagging, uh, especially towards the end. Um, but I think he'll hold his own in the face. His biggest challenge is going to be the instability of his opposition. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. Thank you for joining me. Love to you all. Take care.